so welcome back after your friendly tips option is them let us learn this concept that is what a uh, concept of catalysis so what actually is catalysis so when i whenever initially when we have learned in grade 10 we have studied or oh, we have introduced with a topic called catalyst so we have studied whenever there is this particular uh, foreign substance the rate of the reaction increases like uh, compare like if i see the rate of reaction with catalyst it's going to favor or it's going to cross the energy barrier and give me products when there is no catalyst in the reaction it it's going to take lot of time it's going to cross the threshold energy it's going to cause the or well, accepting picking up threshold energy it has to go to the activation energy barrier then form the products so now this concept when you come to grade 12 we are going to learn the types of catalysis there are two ways of catalyzing or two two ways of learning one it is the classification based on physical state of the reactants and products and the second classification is on the mechanism of the particular uh, catalyst let's come back first catalysis if i have to define if they ask me for one mark how should i write i'm going to write like this the definition is it's a process of process of enhancing what is enhancing enhancing is increasing rather so let me write that word also increasing the rate of a chemical reaction when does this increase by adding a catalyst isn't it so by adding a catalyst is called catalysis this process is called catalysis now when catalysis process when i have to study i said as i said it's based on the physical state so based on physical state of the reactants products and the catalyst three things you have to consider you have to see what is the physical state of the catalyst reactant physical state of the catalyst physical state of the product done so on basis of this they are again divided into this process is divided into homogeneous catalysis as well as heterogeneous when i speak about homo homo means the reactant the product and the catalyst all will have or all will be in the same physical state solid 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 liquid 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 or gaseous gaseous state gaseous state gaseous state all will be in the same physical state done let's see homogeneous catalysts are again divided into gas phase catalysts as well as solution phase catalysts here i have listed out few chemical reactions which are very easy to remember so there's nothing to explain you have to remember two things yes whenever they ask you an exam state an example of gas phase catalysts so you're going to write the reactant write the catalyst you're going to write the product let's see in gas phase catalyst when you observe here the reactant there are two here two reactants the catalyst as well as products all are in gaseous phase so that is most important that's why it's coming under homo homo means similar phase done when i have to come back to solution phase catalysis here your reactant and your re, uh, catalyst as well as your product all are in the same phase that is liquid state or aqueous state both are same so liquid and aqueous state together form the solution phase catalysis they'll directly ask you uh, write a state an example of solution phase catalysis for one mark so you can write this most important thing after writing the reaction you are going to mention what is the physical state of that so here gaseous state common aqueous state is common so solution phase let's come back to hetero heterogeneous catalyst is something where you have the reactant the product and the catalyst all are of different phases the physical state is completely different suppose if the reactant is in solid this can be uh, liquid this can be gaseous state the, the you will find three different phases here or it can be solid and liquid also solid and liquid one combination right it can be solid and gas combination hetero but again in this you have four classifications the first classification is solid solid catalysis in solid solid catalysis you are going to find uh, the catalyst acting here will be in solid state yeah so solid and like i picked up an example of platinum nickel iron you can pick up anything you have learned in haber's process also right so <laughs> you can pick up those uh, which uh, which act as solid 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 which come under solid solid catalysis so when i have to speak about solid liquid catalysis i have a reaction here which we have studied in grade 10 hydrogenation reaction that is addition of hydrogen not hydration i didn't say hydration i said hydrogenation in hydrogenation of vegetable oils basically you are converting your vegetable oil to vegetable ghee 
correct so what are we going to do we are going to take vegetable oil which is in liquid state right so that is your liquid phase then we are going to take hydrogen gas because i have to add hydrogen to the unsaturated compound that is in gaseous state and the catalyst which i'm going to add is nickel nickel acts as an hydrogenating uh, agent so nickel is acting as a catalyst which is in solid phase now observe see all are heterogeneous liquid gas solid all are in different phases that's why it's coming under this category the product which i get is vegetable ghee which is again a solid state so under solid solid catalyst you can write this reaction under solid liquid catalyst or you have to show all are different so it is solid liquid phase catalyst there is one more category which is coming under heterogeneous that is liquid liquid catalysis so i felt this example is very apt to that very uh, like relevant one that is hydroformylation of propene i show you how is that linking uh, that particular example also as of now remember hydroformylation of propene next come next uh, type of ca catalysis that is solid gas look here solid solid liquid liquid solid liquid solid gas so all the combinations three combinations means solid liquid gas i have taken all the combinations here when i have to speak about solid gas catalysis i have the formation of ammonia <coughs> uh, uh, that is your uh, haber's process where i'm uh, combining nitrogen gas as well as hydrogen gas in the presence of a catalyst that is your uh, iron iron here is in solid phase now observe carefully nitrogen is a gas one phase okay hydrogen also is in gaseous state but the catalyst's physical state has become solid and the product which you are getting is ammonia that is also gaseous so basically you have only speaking about two things one would be solid about the catalyst gaseous about the reactants so this is most important try to learn the definition for this which i already gave try to learn the examples practice the examples and keep it ready with the physical states so let's come back and learn the next type of classification that is based on mechanism of the catalyst